G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today is going to be resin day and I am going to try again to get the dragon scales in peacock colours. So, um, and I'm going to do them in my new mould. A lot of you have asked if I could make something a little bit smaller than this mould that I've made. This one's 12 centimetres across. Um, which is about five inches this new one and look there's six of them yay <laughs> this new one's 10 centimeters which is four inches so that was the set of the other one which was still really nice but I lost all my purple in that one so I'm going to go again now as you can see the difference in size there this one here that fits into that it's smaller so you can see the difference in size there so it's kind of between those two but um, yeah so I'm going to go again and see if I can get the peacock color this time today I've got two purples so and then the one turquoisey green so hopefully hopefully that will work and uh, we'll get more of a, a peacock color right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this blue violet it's by Lores it's a resin tint in here um, I've got this one's got the three colors are probably about three quarters of the way full the half uh, the gold and the white are about half and then the clear is about three quarters full as well and I've make, mixed up um, 370 grams of resin one two three four five six let's see how that goes six drops yes yeah, so I've mixed up 370 grams of resin um, so it's basically just over two ounces per cavity there so we'll see how that goes hopefully it's enough so I want to keep this still transparent but not too too pale now I figured the color that you put on the first and pushes its way out is usually the color that you see you know your main color that you see so I'm think, thinking if I do purple there we should see the purple hey <laughs> that's the plan anyway let's just have a look at what it looks like mm, maybe one more one more drop making a mess on my clean mold maybe one more drop actually let's do two I like even numbers so that's eight drops hey eight drops in three quarters of a cup this cup holds uh, 120 mils or four ounces it's like a little cappuccino or a little coffee shot cup thing I think it is all right let's so that's that one there um, and then the next one is this sort of greeny gorgeousness it's called appetite blue by Lores and it is a pigment paste so we'll grab a little bit of that see it's a paste I'll give it a mix up and I'll just wipe that off and then just take a little bit on the end there we'll see how that looks Again, I want to keep it relatively transparent. So this is going to be my sort of, it's almost peacock color, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's kind of this greeny, bluish, dark turquoise color, which I thought would go really pretty with the gold and really pretty with the purple as well. So hopefully that will work. Uh, yep, I can still see the stick through there. Probably not as transparent as it should be, but that's okay. just looks deeper in there because the cup's deeper like a deeper color okay actually I should be doing my pigment powders first I don't know why I've had I've spilled resin down here let me clean that up probably when I was dividing it into my little cups so I'm using the platinum 360 plus resin um, apparently the people who I don't know if they make it or distributed or whatever anyway the owners of it um, are looking into selling it overseas 
Let me count for a sec. This one's more of a pinky tone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, it hasn't got quite as much resin in this one, so let's stop at seven. It's more of a pinky tone. So I've got one that's more of a bluey tone and then one more of a pinky tone, but still purple nonetheless. I think this one was, actually I should tell you what it's called, blue violet. So it's got more of a blue tone to it. Get out of there. And I'll put another drop in. Go to eight. <laughs> Have a nice deep colour. Nice dark deep colour. And that one, I don't know, actually know what it's called. It was a sample. It's got number two written on it. It was a sample that um, Susanna sent me ages ago. So I don't actually know what it's called. She could probably help us out on what it's called. All right, that'll do. <clears throat> the next one is also by Lorez. I'm using all Lorez today. Bright gold. And that is a pigment powder. And I'm just going to use my little spoon and just kind of do a, a level teaspoon for that one. It's going to take a little while to mix these in. I, I did try putting the powder in first. Um, one of the times. This one actually. And see how the powder's sort of, you can see the powder hasn't mixed properly on that one. And I actually put the powder in first on that one. So I think it kind of got stuck to the bottom of the cup. And then when I was stirring, obviously missed some, some parts. You know, I didn't scrape the bottom and some of it got stuck. So now I'm only going to put it in on the top of the resin. So I'm going to stir it like that and then I'm going to move on and I'm going to come back to it because it, the bits of mica start floating up again and you really need to come back and um, stir it again. I was trying to get that little bit of fluff out and <laughs> now I've made it dirty. Get out. Right, now the next one is the white. It's called white satin. And I'll just clean my spoon so I can use it again. Same thing, I'm just going to do like a level... A little level teaspoon. It's just a little, a little teaspoon. It's not a huge, big teaspoon. It's one of the little clear white ones. Clear, clear white. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make sense. Just a little clear teaspoon. But a level one. Only because I've only got half a cup of resin in these, so I don't need a lot of pigment. So I decided I would, like I said, put the purple down first. So it's going to be on the outer rim. And then I'm going to go with the gold. I have wrote down what I want to do. So I'll check my notes. So and do purple, green, purple, so that I've got a lot of purple in there. Right, so that's that one. Let's mix the gold again. Haven't got as much gold this time. The gold really takes over. So I've got less gold. The gold and the white you do two layers of. The other colours you only do one layer of. So what, what's in here is half a cup. And so I'm only going to do little layers. Because that gold and that white has to do two puddles. And the other colours just get one puddle. So smaller puddles for the gold and the white. And hopefully that will work. Alright, are we ready? Ready spaghetti, let's do this. I'm going to hope it works this time, otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to go around first. Our little circle there. Oops, I should really use a paper towel to catch my drips. It's the first time I'm using my new mould. Oh, and there's a hair. I should get that out, shouldn't I? If I can, hang on. I'm gonna have to go and get a piece of tape. I didn't, I didn't bring tape because it's, you know, it's brand new. It hasn't had a chance to get dust in it. But I just saw something. A little hair. Hey, I got it! Yay! All right. <laughs> now let's see if I can get in here because the cups are in the way. 
try and make them equal. And the outer circle is obviously bigger because there's more area. So I needed to make sure I had a, you know, enough of this color to go around. Yes, yeah, so I was telling you about um, the resin because a lot of people have said to me, can I get the resin overseas? And I, I asked the people and they said they're looking into getting a warehouse in the States um, so that they'll be able to distribute the Platinum 360 and, and I guess there are others, um, yeah, from the States. So that's good. It's a really nice resin. I'm really happy with it because I've tried quite a few in my resin journey, so to speak, you know, different brands. Um, a few of them had the, you know, the Amin blush, I like that oil slicky thing on top, which I really, really dislike. Um, others were quite thick and got a lot of bubbles in them. Um, others weren't heat resistant. Um, this is just a good all rounder. It doesn't get a lot of bubbles. It's heat resistant. It doesn't do the amine blush. It sets up really quickly. I can unmold these in six or eight hours. Right, now the next thing we want to do is the gold. Now I have to remember that this gold has to do 12 puddles. So six and then six. I'm just going to put a little bit in. I'm just going to catch the drip. Whoops, you've got a little bit more. Because they're only little coasters, they're not going to take a lot of resin. I think that first one's a bit smaller than all the others. Okay, so I've still got there. Is that about, oh, I nearly knocked the white over. Is that about half? Mm. I guess I can put more on the first layer because the it's got further to go to get to the outside, hasn't it? When I put it on the next layer, it's going to be a little bit smaller. I think that'll do. Okay, so that's some of my gold left. <clears throat> I think it's about, actually I don't think it is half by looking by what I've got left. I was pretty careful not to over pour, so all right, that'll do. Okay, now the next colour is going to be oh, the white. Some white. Oh, did I stir that gold again? Actually, you know, it's probably easier if I just do it like this. Pinch that, and then you just you just pour some. And then you can stop it with that. Like it's probably easier. I just don't get as good control because I'm using my left hand. Try and pour it into the center. Okay, that's that one done. Now the next one is going to be the paste. So for this one, we can use the whole thing. Let's pour from up high. Look at that colour. And hopefully it'll push all the other colours out a little bit. So it only has to do one puddle on each. So let's make sure we've got enough to go around. I don't know why that hasn't touched the purple yet. I should I should actually be, um, you know, spreading it out to, to touch before I go with the next colour. I really should be, but I forgot. Now I've got a tiny bit left, so I'll just divide it between all of those. I'm hoping I've put kind of equal amounts in. Okay, that's that done. Now the next one we want is, let me look at my notes, what I've written down. 
the white again. The white. Here we go. Some white. Again, we need to make sure we've got enough to do all six. Aren't they cute? Don't think they'll be in my store just yet. I'm busy making orders for my little mixed pendant mold that I made. Everyone wants that one <laughs> with the little pendants, the little cabochon pendants. So I'm madly making molds, so I don't have time to be making that and the rounds, but I'll probably put it in my store next week. This round one. Keep your eyes open if you want that one. Because it doesn't hold as much, I guess if you're, you know, not wanting to spend quite as much money, it doesn't take as much resin. Only holds, you know, 360-ish grams. If you want to know what that is, divide 360 by 3, well, by 30, and it'll tell you how many ounces. 360 into 30. Oh. Just fill this up, it's not working. All right, let's go with the bigger one. Just a quick blast with the bigger one. All right, now the next one is uh, the other purple. All right, here we go. I hope I've left enough room. <laughs> All right, here we go with the next purple. Look at that. Hopefully we can actually see the purple this time because last time it all got eaten up. Love the effects you get in these. Just try not to drip onto the sides. Be really careful you don't drip. Try and keep your colour in the centre there. Because it can spoil your pattern if you drip. Now I wonder how much room I've got. Uh, yeah, I think I should be able to keep going a little bit more. I didn't want to use any for the hearts, just in case I ran out. Because like I said, I haven't used this before, so I'm not exactly sure how much it's going to hold. I just kind of guesstimated and said, oh, 60 grams, which is two ounces. So... All right, there we go. That's that one done. And now the last one is going to be um, the gold and then the clear. So this bit of gold here has to go on all six. Let's give it another mix up. All right, here we go. Bit of gold, whoops. I bet that wasn't too much. It wouldn't stop. I guess it's starting to thicken up a little bit now. Because you can unmold like in six to eight hours, it does tend to thicken up pretty quickly. Oops, have I got enough for the last one? Oops, I'm trying not to drip onto the sides. Let's put it into the center. Scraping it all out. Look how it's all being covered already. You can hardly see the gold there. It's vanishing. All right, so now what we need to do is Put a little bit of clear in each and that will just mix and push it out to the sides. From here they're looking very peacocky but whether or not they'll stay like that is another question, isn't it? All right, here we go. Now this is the last, this is the clear, this is the last little puddle. Again, try and get it into the center. Look at that, look at that gold. You can see the gold's right there. Catch your drips, try not to let it drip into the, the sides. It's kind of pushing the colors out and then they all come back in again. 
Alrighty. Oh, you're pretty much doming. I'm not going to take a lot more. It's going to get them all to kind of dome. Without being too full. All right, you're going to have a bit too. Otherwise, they'll all be different. So I've got a tiny bit left. That's it. There's like a quarter of a cup left. So probably would have been enough to do those two if I'd mixed up more colour. Woohoo! Look at that! Oh my gosh. Okay. What's that little white dot doing there? Is that a little bit of white mica? Maybe not. It might, it might be my imagination. All right. Quick torch. I'm going to fill up this little guy with some butane and, and torch with him as well because the big one's a little bit, you get a little bit too close to your mould and I don't want to ruin my gorgeous mould. Don't you just love it? It's beautiful. All right, clean up my mess. Um, swap my hands and I'm going to bring you down for a bit of a close-up so that you can see what's going on. You can certainly see peacock colours going on here. I think I can fill up any more no see once you've once you've got them all the same you don't want to be putting anything else on them actually i've got a tiny bit of resin left i'm gonna just i want to try something i'm just gonna do like a little um only because i've got a little bit i'm gonna do like a little bit of um petri you know the alcohol inks because i can got a little bit left Although this resin's thickening up now. Here we go. So this mould is my usual six millimetres thick. I'm just going to go and grab some inks. Stay there. Um, what will I use? What will I use? Um, oh, here. I've got this. Oh no, that's not it. The wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. This one. I concentrate. Okay. Um, this is going to be a bit of a rush, isn't it? There's my white. Sea deep. Sea deeper. That's the one for pushing the colours down. Um, I think I'll use, I'll go with the peacock colours, hey, why not? We've got some sapphire blue, that's that one there. See, I've made my little samples, so I've done that. Let's put some of that on. One, two, one, two. It's the sapphire. And then let's look for the purple. Purple, there's purple. And then that one's cerulean. Actually, these are very, very similar to the colours I've just used. Where's cerulean? Nope. Nope. Emerald. Forest. It's one of the ones I've already opened. Turquoise. Oh my gosh, where are you? Forest. I'll just go with turquoise. I don't know where it is. It's got to be in here. Midnight. We oh, missed it. Oh, there it is. Cerulean. Okay. Give them a bit of a mix up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get in there. No one didn't get in. Get in there. And. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. That was turquoise. Oh gosh. 
She put the turquoise away. Now, all right. Anyway, well, now we've got the cerulean as well. Um, what was the other one I wanted? Purple. Where's the purple? Where's my purple gone? Oh my gosh. Did I put the purple away instead? There's dark magenta. That'll do. I must have put the purple away and thinking it was the yellow one. There we go. Put some purple in. Okay, now a little bit more blue just to go into the little point there. And some cerulean. Trying to just fill in all my little gaps. All right, that'll do because I'm going to do two layers and I'm going to put some white over the top. Okay, now I'm going to do another layer. Try and remember where I had the colors. This was the blue down the bottom, the sapphire. And then I had the cerulean over on this side. It's a good thing to do with just, you know, if you've just got a little tiny bit of resin left and um, you think, oh, what am I going to do with it? It's good to do the little peach trees, isn't it? Okay, now another layer of white. Just basically covering the, the surface with the white. And then over here, it kind of spreads, so I don't think you need to have like drop per drop, you know, a drop of white over every drop of colour. I don't find I'm using the same amount of white. I find that it's different. Okay, there we go. Um, actually, I might just put a little bit more white. Last time I did it they were really quite dark. So two layers of colour and three layers of white. Okay, well that was fun. Is that the right lid? Doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to be doing up. Might have the wrong lid on it. Let me put the lids back on these. Okay, there we go. Now, are you still with me? Oh my gosh. Are you still there? Let's torch. Got a bit sidetracked there, didn't I? With the... Oh! Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh gosh! Oh! <laughs> Don't torch your alcohol links! Oh my gosh! I hope that'll be alright. It certainly got that white moving, didn't it? Oh, I'm a worry. I know I shouldn't torch alcohol inks. I know that. All right, here we go. <sighs> now, it's looking very purple. <laughs> I'm probably going to go, where's my turquoise? It's just looking purple. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You can see the gold in the middle, which is really pretty. There's my ink. Let's see, I can see some blue. Well, that's the turquoise. It always looks blue through my screen. Look at that. There's a little bit of mica there that's not mixed in. It's always one little floating bit. As long as it's on the top there and not the bottom. And there's my, there's my colours. Now, I must remember to come back and swirl in um, half an hour or so. I'll try and remember to video it. I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe we should just look and see what it looks like without a swirl. Eh? We don't have to swirl it. So there we go. Hopefully it's um, dragon scales in a peacock colour. And um, petri dish in a peacock colour. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being patient with me. That was a long, long video. All right. I'll see you. Um, I guess I'll just see you for the unmoulding. All right. See you soon. 
Okay, you guys, this is the moment of truth. I have tried these peacock colours three or four times now. I think this is the fourth one, actually. And none of them have worked. So I'm going to do this one. And um, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to give up for a while anyway. So I did this one, which looks pretty good. It's quite transparent in the center. You can see some turquoise, you can see some purple, you can see some gold, and I was really confident that it would work. And not really. The back's just all purple. So I don't know what happened there. Da -da. I tried this one. Love the top. It looks really, really pretty. I'd be happy with it just like that. And um, if this video doesn't work out, <laughs> I'll show you this one maybe. Anyway. <clears throat> da -da. Too much gold. I remember actually, because uh, I only had half a cup of gold, uh, half a cup of resin, and I put in like a, a full level teaspoon of gold. And it wasn't until afterwards I thought, mm, yep, too much gold. It's okay down the sides here, but too much gold. So, let's see. <laughs> oh, they're, they're probably still a bit bendy because I just did them this morning. That's why I didn't have a video up for you yesterday because I didn't have one because I didn't want to put it up because it didn't work. You know, I got that and I thought, well, you guys don't want to see me do another fail. Surely to goodness. Oh, please work, please work, please work. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three. Oh, it worked. Although, where's my purple? At least it worked. But I'm still not getting my purple. It's really frustrating. Oh, there's a tiny bit of purple. There's a tiny bit of purple in the, in the center there. A little hint of purple. Look at that. A little hint. Do we call that a win? Because it's got a hint of purple. This um, paste. Was it the paste? Yes. The paste really took over, hey? Maybe I'll try a purple paste. Oh, but see, that's what I did with this one. I tried a purple paste. And you can see how it's got a little bit of purple on the edge there. Maybe I should go back to that. A combination of these two, <laughs> maybe. Oh, it's, um, yeah, they're, they're a little bit trickier than expected, I must say. All right, I'm just going to pop him back in there because it's not totally set yet. I guess they're all going to be the same, hey? But at least it's not a fail. Oh, there we go again. It is quite pretty. <laughs> It's very similar to my other one that I did in the blues and golds. A little bit of purple, that's all we've got. That's better than nothing. Get back in there. I think the problem was maybe my purple wasn't, because um, I used a purple tint. It might not have been quite deep enough, you know. It might have been a little bit too transparent, so it's kind of, Got eaten up by all the other colours. Do you want to see the others? They're all going to be the same. I just want to put them back in so that they dry nice and flat. This is still bendy. <laughs> you see the purple there? A little bit of purple in the centre. I guess I should be happy with that. I mean, they... they oh. Stupid, stupid, putting it in the wrong way. Actually, where's my other one? Hang on one sec. just want to compare it to that other one that I did. That was the, um, I think I was, I think I was trying for peacock colours in that. I can't remember now. I've done so many of them. I think I was trying for peacock colours in that one. It's much darker. It's got much more purple. But the purple's floated, see? It's kind of floated, hasn't dropped. I'll get this one out and then I'll compare it to that one. I'll take it out carefully. We don't want to tear our mould. It's 
This one's got a lot more of the darker colour around the outside there. Whatever colour you put down first seems to be the dominant one. And maybe maybe don't put so much in. But it's it's a different, like it is a different colour. This is certainly darker. And then the one on the left's got that little hint of purple in it. So yeah, they are they are different. Okay, get back in there. I guess I could have done this later, hey, put them back in, but I don't want them to warp. All right, last one. I guess you could still use the top if you wanted to. Look how shiny it is. It's a beautiful resin to work with. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. So I guess we're getting like peacocky, you know, the teals and the greeny golds. There's a bit of purple. See, you can see the purple there. When I do that, you can see the purple in the centre. Just not quite strong enough. Oh, gosh. Does that mean I have to try again? See, I'm one of these people that has to keep doing something and doing something and doing something until they get it right, which is really annoying because you don't want to see all these peacock ones, do you? Let's see if I can get that out. How do I get that out now? Oh, there we go. I'll get you out as well while I'm here. Well, you're half out. Boop. Okay. Make sure those are all back in again. All right, here we go. This is our little alcohol inks. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? I must do more with the alcohol inks, you know. I do like them. Very pretty. Got a few little bubbles there. I think my resin was starting to go thick by the time I got around to <laughs> putting this resin in and dropping the inks in. My resin had thickened up a little bit. So when you've got a thicker resin, it's the bubbles stay trapped much more easily than if you've got a thin resin and they can just all float up to the top. It's still pretty. Let's look at this one. I think they should just both be the same, shouldn't they? Oh, okay, now this was the one I didn't swirl. I swirled one. I didn't swirl the other. I didn't. I don't think I videoed it. No. I don't think I taped it. I must say, I do prefer the swirled look. It looks much more sort of three-dimensional. But I wanted to see what it would look like if I didn't swirl, you see. There you go. Swirled, not swirled. They're very cute. I like them. It's not like a huge feathery effect. Like it doesn't drop a lot like it does when I use the pastes. You know, the little feathers, they really drop a lot. But these, these don't drop a lot when you're using the inks. So there we go. Let me know what you think of this one like it or not <laughs> um yeah i think i still prefer that one so tell me do i get it do i go again or do i just give up on these colors maybe you want to see something different some reds maybe reds and pinks purples and pinks i don't know you let me know anyway just getting frustrated with them not working <laughs> Look at them all. None of them worked. <laughs> this one was this one's pretty close. Like if I'd continued that and not had so much gold. So it's kind of making me think that I should go again, but who knows? Alright, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> Hope you're learning something from these anyway. Have a go. I won't say they're easy. <laughs> they're a bit bit of a trick. You have to get your densities right. Uh, but yeah, have a play. See what you can come up with. I'd love to see them on my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out. So, yeah, we can chat there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.